So I got a couple emails about sidechain compression and how to do it in Pro Tools and other softwares. So I thought I'd do a video on it. So let's get right to it. Let's hear the dry stuff before any processing just to hear what we're working with. Cool, so it's a kick drum and a pad sound. And what I want to happen is that every time the kick kind of hits, I want that pad to be pushed down just a bit and make more room and to also add more dynamic to the pad to make it a little more interesting. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're in Pro Tools today. So let's find a good Avid one. Let's use a Dyne 3 compressor slash limiter. On this particular plugin, you gotta turn on side chain, so click that on. Now over here, you see this key input. We're gonna set this to our next free bus, which is 21. And let's bring the threshold down a bit, but this we can also do once we have the rest of it set up. So let's actually go to our kick drum and we're gonna add a bus send on 21 because that's exactly what we did the key input there for. And let's all click it, bring it all the way to zero so that it's sending something. And let's see what we have right now without really messing with the settings on here. Let's see what it does. So as you can see, without me really doing much on the compressor, it really kind of sidechained it. I didn't have to like mess with the settings. It kind of sounded good. So that's kind of one vibe. Let's try a way more extreme kind of an effect type of, of uh, sidechain. So let's bring the threshold way down. Let's bring the ratio to really extreme. And let's see if we can get some cool kind of stuttery effect here. So as you can hear, that is quite extreme, but for an effect, it could be cool. It's not so much like something I'd actually use on a track if it was a main part, but if you're producing a track and you're messing with like sound design, that could be a cool way to do it. And just for reference, let's actually hear the original one again. Cool, and now with our channel selected, let's actually hit Shift Q, which will bypass the send. And let's hear it dry again, just to be reminded of what it was. So that's the dry signal without anything being processed. And as you can hear, sidechain compression is a powerful yet simple tool that is very easy to use. And it's worth a shot. You know, I think the more things that you automate in your mixes, the more room you have and the more room you have for the kick drum. And it also can make things more interesting as far as effects. So mess around with it, check it out. Don't be scared, go for it. Thanks for watching. And if you guys have any other ideas or videos that you want to see, please let me know and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.